Hey, what's happening, everybody? This is Royce from Pedal Metal. Welcome to my channel. Today we have a 134th scale Lamborghini Mira P400 SV. And I pretty much just forgot who this is from, so I'll have to look them, but I'm pretty sure this is Welly or Kinsmart. Let me just take a quick look. I completely just forgot Kinsmart, which is basically Welly. Let's not let's not kid ourselves when <laughs> these are from, they're made at the same factory i'm pretty sure in china so there we go i uh, got that out of the way uh these if you're not familiar with them they i think it's about uh, i don't know maybe about five inches long there's my finger the die cast metal with plastic parts these are i've said before and i'll say it again and i say it over and over again on all these i review these are absolutely beautiful cars for five dollars a piece that's us dollars by the way um amazing amazing vehicles now they're pullback cars meaning they're for probably were sold for a little you know for kids to have fun when you pull them back they will go trust me that will go eventually if you get it going but anyway um these are just so cool i think Anytime I see a new one of these, which there's a couple other ones I want to get that I've seen at my local Walgreens and uh, Target is actually starting to carry these as well now. I I would snatch them up because they're just so freaking cool for five bucks a piece. This says a nineteen. It's a 1971. It says on the bottom. Uh, it could. The roof has a couple scratches and they're sold just like this. This is, they come with a barcode on the bottom. Uh, there's no packaging or box. It probably keeps the cost down significantly, I'm sure. But you cannot beat these for five dollars a piece. I don't care what anyone says. I mean, they're just, they have, you know, they're just amazing. I don't know how they can do it for that, but uh, I'm gonna do a quick, slight detailed job on this. I always like these, this is my, here to be a tomato red on the screen due to my lighting in here but this is a straight ferrari pretty much a straight ferrari type of red in person on my screen here it looks orange the car but it's not orange the only thing i don't like is i, I don't like this the silver trim and the silver wheels i want to do this in gold i love the red with the gold or even the orange with the gold um and then I'll do the tips. I'll blacken the exhaust tips. And that's pretty much all I'm gonna do to this. And these do come apart. So we'll get started on it and get this out of the way. And I'll be right back. If you guys wanna stick around for that, if not, uh, I do have other videos you could check out. But otherwise, stick around for the quick detailed job and I'll be right back. Okay. Here's your friction drive units in the back of here. I think they're pretty cool. Maidso made these, and these are probably made at the same factory as the Maidso's. I don't know. I wouldn't. I wouldn't doubt that. But um, I used to collect the Maidso. I had so many versions of the Lambert or the um, the Vipers back in the day, and they made some pretty cool ones. They were. They're fun, I think, for the money. They're Diablo S, or yeah, their Lamborghini Diablo SV, I think was, if I remember, was pretty cool. Um, but you, you can't beat these for the money. Now this silver part, I'd like to, wish I could get that to come off of there. They just have, I think I can, they just have tabs holding that on. Okay, one, one tab out of the four broke. That's 
pretty good. So we got that out. I think I'm going to use my little airbrush here and break that out for the first time on video. I don't think I ever, you guys never seen me use that before. Uh, I think that'll work good though for the wheels. And we'll head over there. I got finally got my airbrush flowing. I think now I have the air pressure a little too high. Drop that down some. back and just hit it one more time here all right back from it's been a couple days and I left this dry from the airbrush uh, incident which took me a while to get the paint moving through I don't know what the deal was with that but anyway I haven't used it in, in a while um, the key is to keep those clean so <laughs> that's a problem too if you get caught away from uh, when, when you're working on them and I should say when you're done spraying, you really got to keep dumping thinner through and keep spraying it. That's the key to the key, I should say. Uh, anyway, um, these wheels are Ford. They look like they're for a Ford Shelby or something like that. But that's what came on. And they're, they're pretty close to the uh, Burton styled, the wheels that were on the car originally. Uh, so we'll just have to make do. I think off camera I did, I already blacked in the uh, tips and did a black wash over the, the uh, chrome mufflers was pretty gaudy. Uh, I got looking here at the interior. This is pretty impressive actually, the way this is put together. We got, it's a separate mold for the seats. I think that's pretty cool. I apologize for the, the uh, air conditioning is running. And with it being so hot outside, it's really not much I can do about that. I got looking here at the interior um, and how I could detail this. And one thing I noticed right off the bat here was it's missing, for whatever reason, there's a cutout here. Right here, and there's no... There's no stick shift here. I'm not sure why it's cut out there. So the stick shift would have been right in here. And I'm thinking, let me just see, maybe the, oh, okay, that hole is for the dash, the bottom dashboard drops into there. Okay, that makes sense then. What we could do is, well, I have this out. Let's just hit some of these gauges the best I can. These are really difficult to get out, the dashboard. I really don't want to mess with uh, messing anything up there. I do wish I could get to the, I wish I could paint that steering wheel. But I'm just going to do the gauges the best I can here with my chrome pen. At least give some visual interest there when you look in uh, I can't really get to they sh this panel here is a blank panel anyway according to what I'm looking at on line yeah, and I don't want to try here trying to maybe I can get to the center hub here the steering wheel it's really can't really get in there though the spokes but I don't think I'm going to be able to pull that off and have it look decent. I can maybe get to the window winders. It looks like they have little tiny cranks here. I'm going to try to see if I can get those. 
the door panels. I got that one. Now I don't know if I can get this one because the steering wheel is kind of like in the way. Maybe if I could look through this side. <laughs> it's, it's like. Alright, got it. That was not easy to do. So let's leave Alan before I end up messing something up. Um, these little buttons, we have the chrome. There's a little button here for the console. We can do that and a couple of these other little, little buttons. These two vents, believe it or not, I thought they would be have chrome trim rings around, but they do not. They're just black plastic from all the photos I see on on uh, Google Images. So we'll just let them alone. I mean, you could do them, but what's the point, I guess? Um, so let's see here. What we're we gonna do? I want to add a shift knob to this. And I'm thinking I have this pin I found, which is the shape. It's kind of like not a perfect ball, but it's almost the shape of the original shift knob. And it's already got aluminum color to it. I think it'll be perfect for the, uh, technically it would have had a black, black leather covering over the knob, but I don't really, I think I'm going to leave it. The aluminum color looks pretty cool. So what we need to do here is represent where the shift gate would be would be probably like right in here I'm just gonna do a chrome freehand square for now and then go back and do the lines you probably won't even see it anyway but I'll have to do some little bit of trimming on the edges of that, but that's fine. And then I have a pin vise, which if you're not familiar with pin vises, you can get these off like Amazon really cheap. And then I have a whole pack of tiny, tiny uh, drill blades, drill bits, I should say, not blades. So um, you can, they go down almost to human hair size. So there's all different different kinds of pin vices this one's a little bit longer a little more user friendly than some of them but we're gonna just drill right here put a hole all right after you drill it I'm just gonna stick the pin through and voila we have a stick shift shifter and shift knob to want to get that height just right and there you go instant gated shifter and shift knob I don't know about there might look good and now we're just gonna have to snip off the bottom of it watch your eyes throw that in the garbage just some minute step on it don't even really need glue because it's not going to go anywhere and stick it back together now this paint is probably not gonna, I'm hoping it doesn't come off one of the tires. This is the only one I think I was able to get off before, so it'd be nice if I could get all the other ones off and pop them, put the tires on from the back side. Okay. 
that actually might work to get rid of that center section. I'm going to turn them in inside out and then try to roll them on here and I think that's going to work because no one's going to be playing with this anyway so it doesn't really need to have that huge backside. Yeah, it'll probably be alright. dries so fast and I'm gonna put a little more back on there. Whew. There it goes. Okay, what a disaster that was. Okay, I'm gonna stick it back together. I need to get the shift knob to bend it over toward there we bend it over towards the driver a little bit I think it's gonna look pretty pretty trick though okay that's better there we go does that look cool or what and gold and red together don't know why I just said that okay let's uh find a better picture here of these gills uh, off camera I, I did do these two slots here I think before I started or before before I decided to make this video I'm not sure how a speck of gold got on the the body right there considering I had this the body nowhere near nowhere near uh, I don't have to polish that out nowhere near where the booth was do our two scoops of raisins about done I don't really see anything else they actually had these louvers on the roof or already had like a, a wash over them and they look really impressive uh, it's I mean for it's just for a five dollar vehicle this thing is just sick I mean it really is I mean I the trim around the windows was already done these black lines here we're already done. Pretty amazing. The Bertone logos are done there. I'm going to see if I can get that gold spot off there. Now I want to do the knockoffs. Like I said, these aren't really the correct. These aren't really the correct wheels, but they're going to look pretty darn cool. Couple of you guys make fun of me for saying cool a lot, but that's all right. I think it looks pretty cool. Don't you guys think that looks cool? It looks like my gold's a little thin on this back wheel here, but that's all right. I like this one. This one's real. This thing is just freaking cool. I mean, they even have uh, chrome on where the wipers are, the wiper arms. Really cool. I don't know. I like that a lot. So what I'll do here is, it's tempting to make a mirror and put on it. Um, kind of tempted to do that. But anyway, there we go. I'll put it up on a stand and we'll get some, I want to clean that little gold spot off the door there. And we'll, let me get, we'll get some pictures of it. Kind of see it right there. 
you always got to move opposite. I always forget to move opposite there with the camera. But I think that looks really cool. So let me put on the turntable and get some shots of it. The other thing, if I wanted to get anal with it, I could have went in here with red. I probably have some red that's closely matches and do this door jam there. Um, which maybe I'll do off camera here. Do the door jam. Get rid of the raw metal there, but it's no big deal. All right, we'll be back in a little bit. So here we go, here's the finished product, I think it looks pretty good. It sure doesn't look like a five hour toy car, does it? I mean, I don't know, from where I'm standing, it sure looks like looking at the lens here, it looks like you're looking at a $50, 143rd scale Mini Champs car or something. It looks really, really nice. So, hopefully you guys like that. And... I don't know what I was going to say, but oh, I can open it. We'll shut it down here, open the doors up. I did, not sure if I showed this or not. I think I talked about it, but I did uh, the door jams. All that and testers enamel red, just a straight red. And then the insides of the, the doors here and here were, were raw. It was just raw metal. And there's the, the interior, I think, turned out pretty nice for not much effort. The worst part was, I think, getting my airbrush to flow uh, was the worst thing, and sometimes that can be pretty frustrating, but with practice, it's not so bad. So if you like this type of video, give me a thumbs up, and be sure to subscribe for other uh, diecast car-related videos and other things. I have some other channels down there listed down below, my kids' channel, and I have a firearms channel that I want to start adding a little more to that as well. So until next time, I'll see you guys later. All right, bye now.